Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I just want to share a little story with you about what is still today the most useful guitar lesson I've ever given. And I've given tens of thousands of lessons and this is the one that changed a student's life more than anything else. And uh, I know this because he keeps telling me. And so I'm going to share it with you and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get something out of it and apply it to your own process and I think it will really put things in perspective if you're having a hard time you know improving and really focusing your practice so basically this started a few years ago a young man comes into my music school in Barcelona I was still there at the time and uh, he says I want to become a professional musician and I said okay are you sure about that right because there's two kinds of students there's people who love music you know and listening to music isn't even enough anymore so they want to actually make the music sometimes they just want to feel closer to the music they love and they want to learn how to play the songs sometimes they just want to emulate what their favorite bands do so they want to actually write their own songs and improvise and go to a jam session with friends and uh, that's 99 percent of students and then you get that one in a hundred who really wants to make music their lives and they've thought about it and that's all they want to do and so they need to get somewhere and they need to get there pretty fast right they don't have 20 years to study usually they they want to you know they have, they have a certain age maybe they're in their late teens or early teens and they want to get to a point at a, a working age and they want to become musicians so you kind of have a different responsibility so these people you sit them down and you say well now i'm going to squeeze everything i can out of you you know and i expect everything I give you I expect the same from you and so this is one was one of the students I, I we talked about it and it was clear that that's what he wanted to do and so we go for a few months we do some lessons and he's doing great very dedicated he really works hard at home does his homework uh, brings back the stuff I ask him but through the you know the, the first few months and weeks I noticed that he's working a lot but he hasn't figured out a way even though I'm trying to tell him to make the most of his practice. So his practice is not helping him out as much as he should. And you know, and there's no prize for hard work and effort. You know, either you can play something or you can't. It doesn't matter how many hours you were uh, studying it, especially if you want to be a pro, then you can go to a concert and screw up and go like, well, I'm sorry, but you know, I really practiced and rehearsed a lot. Nobody cares that you have to perform in a studio. If somebody pays you for a session, you must be able to perform. And so eventually I figured that I was going to go hard on him. And so one day I told him a, a lesson. I told him, listen, uh, you know, all these scales, you know, we worked on a bunch of chords, but let's go back to the simplest possible thing. Let's go back to C major. Let's go back to the simplest way of organizing C major. Let's go back to the cage system. And for next week, do whatever you want, but I only ask for one thing. Bring me the five positions of the cage system in C, which you already known for months, and bring them back to me perfect. Not good, not almost there. Bring them back perfect as, your, as if your life depended on them, which it kind of does if you want to be a professional. And so he said, okay, great. Uh, he goes home. I know he's going to put in the hours. I know it's going to be a hard wake-up call the next lesson. So he comes in a week later. He sits down and I said, okay, well, take your time, you know, uh, warm up for a few minutes, four or five minutes. And then when you're ready, pick one of the five positions any one of them, I don't mind, whichever one you think you, you can play better and play top to bottom, no mistakes at all. You can't screw up your timing, you can't screw up the sound and of course you can't screw up the notes. You have to play the right notes on the right frets. And uh, here's the thing, if you screw up, the, the, the lesson is over and you go home. And he looks at me like, I've only been here for five minutes. And uh, I said, that's it. So I'm asking that you perform one thing that is way below your level. You, you perform it perfectly. Otherwise, this is the end of the lesson. So he was kind of taken aback, but probably he thought, you know, I can do it. And I was hoping he would do it, but I kind of had a feeling that he wouldn't. And as a matter of fact, he starts playing, starts very well. Then I think in his mind is like, oh my God, I'm actually doing it. Uh, am I going to screw up? And as you could imagine, in the way back, third string screws up. And I said, okay, great, uh, get your stuff, go home and think about this. That's all I'm asking, go home and think about it. So he goes home, he feels a little weird, right? And he goes home, 20 minutes later, his mom calls and he's like, she's like, you know, what happened? Was he disrespectful? And I said, no, 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 it, 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 was, it was a great lesson if he can kind of figure it out for himself. Give him some time, uh, hopefully after a few months of knowing me, you don't think I'm just trying to save myself the trouble of working for 50 more minutes and so you know 
let it sit with him for a while and then hopefully this will all work out. She doesn't quite know what I'm talking about, but anyway, she hangs up. I don't talk to him for a whole week, comes back the next week, sits down, doesn't say a word, doesn't warm up, doesn't do anything, picks his, picks, picks his guitar up and plays the whole scale perfect. And he says, uh, a couple of days after the lesson, I was going to quit and find another teacher. And, uh, and then I tried to think about it and I, I thought, you know, if I can play a C major scale, what am I going to do when I want to do all the things that I dream about doing? I dream about going to a studio, I dream about being on a stage. What am I going to do if I can't even, you know, if I can't even count on my fingers to do a simple thing such as a major scale. And so basically from that day on, we had our setbacks, of course, as always when you learn, but he was always practicing with that in mind, always practice for perfection. And it really changed his life. I'm happy to say that there's a happy ending. He's, he's a very successful guitar player, not thanks to me, of course, not thanks maybe to that lesson, but certainly thanks to his perseverance and talent. And, uh, but he says that that lesson was a pivotal point. And he's playing in uh, theaters, in musicals. He does uh, tours uh, every summer. And so, you know, he's a professional musician and he can depend on his tools and on his instrument. And so if you want to take something away from this is that maybe you can try to sometimes when you feel stuck, you can change the focus. Imagine there's me back there saying, if you screw up, this is the end of the lesson. You've wasted your lesson, you wasted your time, which you're never going to get back. You can always get more money, but you're never going to get back the time. And even if you're not an aspiring professional musician, this point of view and this kind of frame of mind when practicing can really help you out. And certainly I kind of have to catch myself doing the wrong thing sometimes and say, you know, you wouldn't let this pass with one of the students, so don't let it pass with yourself. If I find myself wasting time when I'm practicing, then uh, I always try to catch myself and uh, fix it. All right, so hopefully you found this interesting and maybe even helpful. Maybe it will help you out in the future in your practice. And uh, we'll be back soon with regular guitar playing and exercises and all the cool stuff and music. See you soon.